Yes, I do. I, I quite literally do. Um, <laughs> Both literal and sarcastic. Good job, Greg. Well, well done. <laughs> Disco fever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> rum is gone. The rum is all gone. All right. So, this next story um, is from CNN. Not 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 a news sto- not a news uh, place we usually talk about on this show. Um, so <laughs> this was um, this was was reported by who's the author? Give me a second. Ah, um, Susan Scooty um, on who to recognize gaming disorder as mental health conditions in 2018. In 2018, playing video games obsessively might lead to a diagnosis of a mental health disorder. In the beta draft of forthcoming 11th International uh, Classifications of Diseases, the World Health Organization includes gaming disorder in its list of mental health conditions. The WHO defines the disorder as a persistent or recurrent behavior pattern of significant severity to result in significant impermanent to personal, family, social, educational, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. This disorder is characterized by impaired control with increasing uh, priority given to gaming and escalation despite negative consequences. Video game, video game playing, either online or offline, must be normally evident or over a, pa- a period of at least 12 months for the diagnosis to be made according to the beta draft guidance. However, its systems are severe and requirements are met. Health care professionals may include people who have been playing for shorter periods of time. Uh, the draft reads. And I'll put the entire link in the chat for you guys want to check it out. But basically, this was having a whole bunch of hoopla uh, the other day <coughs> in regards to the um, in regards to the uh, um, you know, is is gaming a disorder, or it's gonna become a, it's gonna become a disorder, uh, pretty soon as, as labeled as such, and people were saying like, oh, I guess that means make, makes me to say what I guess, or and, and so on and so on, and about theories and whatnot. So, the thing about this is to clarify, basically, if you it's saying that the only the only possible way this is going to be a disorder is if only if you literally cannot function without playing a game um, every day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What drives me nuts the most about this story is it tries to insinuate that having an addictive personality is what the disorder problem, the the problem is, but they're just pointing it to gaming. Um, Anything that has uh, an addictive angle to it can be a problem but having an addictive personality is the disorder not gaming itself i mean do we sit there and go like well gambling is a disorder no <laughs> the hell no oh uh. so yeah like this definitely has not only have people you know breaking a question it's like oh am i am i am i uh disabled because of this um or are people in, within the industry disabled because of this because you know for people like us and people who who work within the game uh, news media, like we may not play a, a, a game every day, but we do keep up with game news every day. So does that qualify for us to for us being disabled in in this in this sense? So there's a lot of questions obviously that are being thrown out there, and I know that there's gonna be some more duplication as time comes on. But um, this is such a this is such a non a nonsense topic for me because i mean over the course of years um by the way anthony here's me uh picking something out of an article where there's not much room to uh talk about Mm -hmm. uh for years uh people like jack thompson loved to point problems with video games Mm -hmm. um people it's the newest form of art so of course there's going to be a slew of people saying that there's problems with it and it won't end anytime soon. It's gotten a lot better over you know the course of years. But um, the biggest problem is not gaming itself. It's or whatever, whatever your vice may be. It's allowing your vice to take over your life. That's when it becomes a problem. 
Mm-hmm. And that can go for anything that becomes a vice. Um, even if the vice is the show Miami Vice, that can be a problem. <laughs> Uh, or if you really, really like going to the garage and putting things in a very tight container, which is also called the vice, um, the joke is going guys. I don't know if you're with me on this, uh, point I'm getting at is this is not, this is not new. This is barely news to me. This is a new group of people disliking video games or not understanding it as an art form and, and, and coupling it to a problem that is an actual problem. Addictive personalities, being addicted to things, is more of an issue. And going to a therapist or going to a doctor and getting diagnosed that you have a high, um, a high disorder for addictive substances in general, or just easily addicted to things, that is where the where you'll get help. Going to whoever the hell made this damn article, um, and, uh, CNN made the article, but whoever made the the uh, uh, like it could be a disorder. That's not where you're going to get help. You're going to get help by going and seeing a professional who can help you with your personality, your addictive personality. If I go to a, a, a person that has a high addictive personality and I say, okay, you're addicted to video games and we take all your video games away. They're going to find another vice. They're going to find something else that is going to hurt them more. Having video games as a vice. Also just throwing this out here. Video games as a vice is probably the least of your problems. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather yeah. have I'd rather have somebody have a vice to video games than to let's say eating or smoking yeah. or being addicted to drugs or yeah. gambling. That's true. It's true. It's very true. Um, I I think that it's interesting the fact that this is going to be a thing in 2018 in regards to like it's going to be it is going to be labeled as a as a disorder, um, within the mental organization um, group in the U.S. So I'm kind of curious as far as like how that goes when when it, how that develops. But regardless, like this doesn't apply to everybody, honestly. Like it only applies to those who are who who need help. Yeah, for those who are like <coughs> who are who who literally cannot survive a day in their life without playing the game. Um, and you know that then it, it's like okay, yeah, you you need you need help to get that situated. Um, it's. Very interesting. The fact is, it's happening and it's becoming a thing. Um, whether it's going to change the way that everybody does, you know, play games, cover games, or whatnot, like it doesn't really, like, no, no, it's not. It's not gonna. No, like the top head professional of the medical association come out and say like video games are causing cancer, and it's not gonna stop people play video games. Yeah. Because it certainly didn't stop people from. Oh, this is a terrible analogy, but it certainly didn't stop people from smoking. Yeah, I have to say the same same thing too. Yeah, <coughs> like like pe- like like. Hey, look, I'm drinking alcohol right now. Like, I'm not supposed to drink any like a, a, a good portion of this, but I know that I'm going to drink it. Oops, I'm going to drink this. <laughs> also, bounce it off of something that makes it a cool sound. Yeah. Um, I'm going to drink this, knowing that. Does that make me an alcoholic? No, it, just because I don't drink as often as, as some other people, uh, other other people do. So it, you know, small small doses. Um, didn't someone already say games were causing cancer? Yeah, I was I was typing in that probably somebody <coughs> said that, but and I'm sure that's where I'm getting it, but I don't remember mm-hmm. like exactly. Mm-hmm. It's just been a thing where like you know th- this is not new. This is, and it won't change for a while. Like it's still gonna be. Yeah. You know, we're still in the evolution of video games becoming a respected art form by everybody. Nobody sits there and goes, movies are a problem anymore. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Because they did it one time. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We think about it. It went from comic books. Well, no, was it? Was it comic books first? Or was uh, it comic book, comic books got it. Movies got it. Uh, Every generation of of music gets it. Like it's still like this music is causing problems with our children. Shut up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it it always happens. It's always a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just I think people people don't want to look and in, look inside themselves for the problem. They would rather point the finger. Yeah, yeah. It's Anthony. I'm just gonna throw this out here. You put 20 minutes on this, but I'm pretty sure we're done in 40 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I I, I uh, definitely uh, we could probably cut it on here. <clears throat> but yeah. Um. 
darn, darn, darn tootin' adults. Speaking of comic books, I need to. I, I really want to go buy the uh, uh, issues of. Uh, well, I think it's only one issue, but the um, Watchmen DC co- crossover comic series. Uh, oh yeah. I can't remember it's... the name of it. Something about uh, Doomsday. Doomsday Clock. That's oh, what Doomsday you know, I, I just saw, I just saw that when I was at the comic book store the other day. I was thinking of picking it up too. I was like, ooh, it's hard to forget about that. Um, all right, so how long do you want to set this till? Because uh, the next 